you got to always put your troops first when it comes to like um, making decisions. You got to let them know a hey, mission's first, but I'm thinking about you second. And it's not about what we say, it's about what we do. It's about what we do. Let me give you another example and then we'll get started with this video. When I was deployed, same deployment. No, let's see. Was it the same? No, it's the second deployment, right? So I did 10 months my first deployment, six months my second deployment, okay? We were in an area called Mortar Alley. Y'all know what mortars are? What's a mortar? Somebody explain what a mortar is. It's a bomb that gets shot hard. Okay. Like okay, so there's a round tube that looks like a pipe that you drop a rocket into, right? And it could be, uh, and so what the Iraqis did, they were very smart. They put mortars in the back of pickup trucks. So they just lob a couple mortars off and they fired off, right? So the area where we were was called Mortar Alley, right? And so if you know you're going to receive shrapnel and things like that when in the combat zone, right? What would you do? You got to protect that million dollar piece of equipment that we're talking about because it's limited and I'm not going to get it in anytime soon. So the order was given by Lieutenant Williams. I was captain at the time. The order was given. I ordered a thousand sandbags and three dump trucks worth of sand. And the order was given to the platoon that starting the next day at high or at, at zero eight after the CO's meeting, that we're gonna fill sandbags until everything's sandbagged. What do you think the Lance Corporals and NCOs did? Why? They wanted to stay around. Okay, they complained and whined like five-year-old kids. And I said, I understand your complaint, but by tomorrow morning the sandbags will be filled, okay? So the following morning, eight o'clock, there are no Marines filling sandbags. By 8.15, there are no Marines filling sandbags. By 8.30, there are no Marines filling sandbags. I'm like, what the heck, something going on with my clock, my watch, what, what's going on? No one's filling sandbags. You're the lieutenant, what are you gonna do? You can do several things. You can go in and go, I'm the lieutenant. You're going to do exactly what I tell you. I'm a court martial. You. you can do that. You can be the hard guy, the hard nose, right? Or you can do what? What would you do if that was you? Fill them up. I spent the whole day filling them up. What do you mean, fill them up? Like, as a lieutenant? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, some way, there's going to be other people to join. Because once they see that. Okay. Sheep, what was that? What do you mean, sheep? So if someone's doing something, other people might follow. Okay. What about you guys? What do y'all think? You're the leader, and none of your troops, all 60 of them, no, 50, 50 of them, 53 of them, aren't feeling sandbags. What would you do? First, we're going to see where they are. Uh, no, know. you don't have to find out where they are. Where they're supposed to be, as the leader, is where you told them to be. They should be right there filling sandbags. So you're not going to go looking for them as the senior officer there. Okay, you can chew them out, which they deserve. What else, though? Because the mission is what? To go through the valley? No, no, no. What is the mission? What is your mission for having the sandbags there? To fill them. To protect That's the mission. The equipment. To protect the equipment, which they don't understand. Right? So... Castro, you're right. Give him one. Hoorah! I started at the... Now, there's no such thing as the right answer, guys. You just figure it out on the way. There's no book that you can go to and says, oh, in case they don't show up when you're feeling sandbags, check A, B, C, or D. No. As the officer, as the leader, as the decision maker, you have to make a decision. Whether right or wrong, Terrell said he will go out and just chew them up and down. Then what, Terrell? Now you got to motivate them. Now that you just chewed their butt for 20 minutes in front of everybody, embarrassed them, now you got to motivate them to want to do what you told them to do. You guys are garbage. You're late. You didn't show up. Bow, bow, bow. You're beating them verbally. You're beating them down. 
They're just being crushed because you're the weight of your force, you're, the language you're using, you just beat them down. Now, how do you now encourage them? Okay, guys, uh, good talk we had. Now go feel sandbag. How about those? How about those Raiders? Yeah, man. Now let's go feel sandbag because I told you to. Y'all kind of understand? They just lost the motivation because Terrell just chewed their butt. There's a time and place for chewing their butts. And I didn't think that was the time. They lacked motivation because of their own, they were concerned about their own internal, whether or not they want to do it or not. So Castro's right. The officer has to be willing to do everything that we're telling the enlisted to do. So you lead by example. So what did I do? I went out and I started filling sandbags. 10 minutes went by. And then 15 minutes. And then 30 minutes. I'm filling sandbags. I got music going. I'm like, whoa. I'm, whoa, I'm filling sandbags in here. These things are heavy. This is great. This is great. I started filling sandbags. And then the NCOs came out. And I said, no, NCOs go away. My staff and CEOs came out, and we filled sandbags for about four hours. And then I called the NCOs. Why did I do that? Because they're leading. We're leading. I'm not going to tell you guys to do anything I'm not willing to do, and I'm willing to show you by working three to four hours, showing you. Matter of fact, it was the best. We had such a great time, me and the staff. And so my master sergeant, master sergeant Bush, and my uh, gunner sergeant, Wilson, all those guys. We had a great time filling sandbags. I mean, we hadn't done that together. We're just, and it was so funny. We were joking. We were like, we're all Lance Corporals now. We're laughing, having a great old time. We filled for four hours. And then we had the NCOs come up. But it was different with the NCOs. NCOs are required to do whatever we tell them to do if it's a lawful order. So when the officer or the senior staff NCO tells you to do a mission, it better be done. Better be done. So instead of the troops being out there with the NCOs, we let the NCOs do it for the rest of the day. The following day is when we had the troops continue to feel, but the NCOs that get out of effect, they continue to work because they disobeyed a direct order. Here's what happened. Long story short, we sandbagged everything to include the porter job. We had sandbags around the port. Y'all know the porter job is, right? The portable toilet that y'all don't like to go to here on the campus. We put sandbags around that. A month later, in the middle of the day, the troops are in the tent as sandbags it was in the middle of the day playing card games or whatever. And we got six mortars dropped. With, we got six mortars dropped within a place, an area the size of my classroom. One at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Imagine if the center was our tent where they were playing cards. We got mortar shell impacts and shrapnel all over that compound. It's almost like they knew exactly where we were. We got six shots fired. And I was inside the building. We heard it, the building shaking. I'm like, oh my God, you know, that was close. We run outside. You can see the smoke and everything. Some of the sandbags are smoking, right? And then all the troops come out of the tent. And I had the NCOs and I said, this is why you listen when a commission officer tells you to do a mission, to do your job. Had we not sandbagged that, or I let that slide, I would have had a lot of dead Marines on my hands. This is why the mission and accomplishing the mission is so important. True welfare is always set. Oh, I want a day off. I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like doing it. A lot of times as the troops, you don't see what the officers and staff and CLs see. We think outside of our own selves. We're thinking about your well-being. I thought about troop welfare. Although y'all didn't think that it was welfare to fill the sandbags as troops, I thought about that. 
I thought about our equipment and our ability 